what's up everybody i'm back with another video and in today's video i will be doing a quick review of the unicurl products that i bought during my holiday haul um i've already done a pretty much full review on unicurl and i'll insert it down below and in the end cards more than likely um but if you can recall in my haul video i was saying how they now have a different shampoo so i'm going to be trying out the the new shampoo or the new formulation of shampoo that they have which is a, a two-in-one conditioning shampoo and then i want to try out this clear styling gel that they have it's also new i have not washed my hair in two weeks i've had this style for a week it was my birthday hairstyle which was march 29th big 30. <laughs> so it is beyond time to wash my hair again it's been two weeks so if you want to see my review of some of the new unicurl products then just keep on watching one conditioning shampoo oh, i smell peppermint i smelt that off the ripper i'm gonna be generous because whoo consistency is pretty much completely different from the first one i like how this one feels in my hands i think it was kind of clarifying for me last time i don't think i was crazy about it last time it feels like smoothing going on Woo. baby my hair been cooped up in them bantu knots the style was cool and all, but it's like my hair and my scalp is finally getting a chance to breathe. Woo. It feel real good. <laughs> I can just do this all day. <laughs> okay, so I just finished rinsing out the shampoo and <laughs> she put her foot <laughs> in that shampoo. Yeah, I like this one. I hold a hell of a... a, a, a Whatever, whatever you did to this, good call. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't, I don't really feel like deep conditioning. I'm be honest with you. I know what I said at the beginning of the video, but I changed my mind. <laughs> my hair feels too soft, and it feels nice and refreshed and clean. I don't feel like I need to deep condition right now. I don't know if I need to. I don't know if I should. Normally I would, but I feel good right now. So I'm just gonna go with the flow, guys. I'm just gonna go with the flow. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with the spray leave-in. Um, I don't wanna use the um, four-in-one uh, leave-in. I don't wanna use a cream right now. I'd rather just, and you know, I'm not typically a leave-in spray person, but because I want to use this gel and I don't really want to, get too thick creamy with it <laughs> i'm gonna use the leave-in spray so i'm gonna go in with the curl fantasy clear styling gel now the other gel that they had the clear one it didn't really work for me as a wash and go um so i don't know if this is that or if they still have that one Oh, it smells good. Um, but this one seems thicker, so. Yeah, it's definitely thicker to me. Not as watery. Feels a little light so far. I don't feel it immediately smoothing down my hair, but my hair could be, my hair's pretty wet. So I'm just working in. Oh no, y'all, it's looking a little light. And this is the same thing that happened last time. Let me do some. I don't know, y'all, I'm scared. It's looking a little too light. I don't even want to set myself up. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to twist up one side with the gel, and then I'm going to twist up the other side with this elongating twisting cream. <laughs> I'm going to do some, um, normally I do three strands. I'm going to do, do some two strands. 
I guess. Hope I don't regret that. <laughs> Ooh, look at the length. Look at the length of it, dog. <laughs> All right. Ooh, starting to, um, starting to do a little something. <laughs> I can't like really, really smell it. Ooh, she's stretching out though. <laughs> the stretch. Look at it trying to shrink up. It's okay, go ahead. <laughs> Whew. Okay, y'all. So it's been about three days. No worries. <laughs> it didn't have hold the first day. It don't have hold now. <laughs> this side feels lighter. This side feels a little bit more weighed down. Um, so both of those are to be expected because of what type of product they are. But neither one I feel a hold with. I can feel my twist a little bit more on this side. But I'm assuming that's because of the gel as opposed to it being a cream. So I'm going to use the Unicurl hair oil to undo my hair. I used this in the first review. No real reason because there's no cast on my hair other than I'm just accustomed to doing this. <laughs> in my last Unicurl video, I had some people kind of upset. I've deleted some of the comments, but a lot of people were mad because um, of how I applied the products last time. Traditionally, would I do a wash and go after applying oil? No, but it didn't work for me as a wash and go, but it worked for me when I did, I put my hair up in that, in those buns. And even with this, I, I applied it the traditional way. I put the leave-in spray and then I put the gel on top. I didn't put an oil under the gel. I'm just now using the oil and I still don't have, I still didn't have a super defined wash and go look. Y'all saw, okay? So that should put all issues to bed, right? <laughs> no flakes. No frizz just yet. This is my hair before doing any unraveling. So I can see actually, I can see a little bit of flaking on this gel side at my roots. Couldn't see them at first, now you kinda can. <laughs> they were hiding in there. <laughs> no flakes on this side, but definitely a little bit more, I don't even, I don't wanna say freeze just yet, just losing the definition. It's a thin line between losing the definition and frizz. <laughs> I haven't teetered over into the frizz side just yet. Um, frizz, yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can tell. You, you probably can because I have this white shirt on. Yeah, I know you can. Flakes. <laughs> Flake City. Not over here. It's a couple spots, but I think that's just a black shirt. This is legitimately gel flakes shirt. <laughs> it's a lot of it. And uh, yeah, once I started like getting in there and separating, it started really popping out. When I first took the twist down, you couldn't see it, um, not for real. Uh, but when I started separating and fluffing, it it became Christmas. <laughs> it became Christmas, it became a winter wonderland. It really don't even look that bad. It don't look like extremely bad, but definitely not. I was I was expecting a lot more. I'm not even gonna hold you. This side over here is super frizzy. My hair don't typically get frizzy, but this people ask like my hair does it get frizzy, and I tell them no because usually it doesn't. If you ever want to know what frizz is for me, it's this over here, like just not defined, not just like super curly fluff fluff ball or nothing like that, but just not defined. This is free is for me. <laughs> I don't know how to back look. I don't even want to show you the back. <laughs> I don't even want to show you the back because it really don't matter. Camera. 
I just wanted to come in and show y'all where I'm at with it right now. These are the finished results using the newer products from Unicurl. If you want to see me do all the stylers that I have now from this line, let me know down below. Have you used any Unicurl products? Comment down below, let me know. Share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.